Hey guys, Mr. Riss here to help you out on the next section here. Uh, so we're, this first part here, we're going to be learning something called the properties or simplifying exponent ex, uh, expressions. Uh, we're going to learn a, another name for that just in a little bit here. But what we're going to do here is we're going to look at these expressions here. We're going to simplify them. And then we're going to try to like basically describe kind of another way we can look at this. So if we're going to, if we have two squared and then we're going to take it to the fourth power. Now, most of the time you'd think, you know, using PEMDAS here, okay, let's take care of the inner part of the parentheses. Two squared is four. And then four to the fourth power is four times four times four times four. Uh, good thing we got calculators here. All righty. 256, right? Or is that what it is? Four to the fourth, I'm guessing here. 256. Okay. Let's take a look and see if we can kind of rewrite that again. So we know 256 here. We could break that down. Okay. And we know, well, that's, uh, I know that's 16 times 16. 16 is four and four. And four is two times two. So if we think about 256, yeah. Is the same thing as two to the eighth power. Okay. We're going to kind of keep that in the back of our mind. Do the next one and then see if we can kind of figure out a property here. All right. So if we got negative three to the third power and then we're going to square that. All right. Negative three to the third power would be negative three times negative three times negative three. And that would be negative 27. And then if we square negative 27, meaning we're going to do negative 27 times negative 27, we get a positive 729. Okay. Now, if we try to do the same thing, okay, what's 729? 729, well, we just said is 27 times 27. All right, that's 9 and 3. 9 and 3. All right. So really, we could say, okay, 729 is 3 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 power. All right, so if we look here, okay, 2 is the exact same base as what we started here. But okay, we got 8 instead of those two numbers. Here we got pretty darn close. Now, if we think about it, we know that a negative times a negative equals a positive. We could have made those both negative 3s. We could have made both of those negative threes because they multiply together, make pot, and we could actually make those two. So all these negatives would cancel each other out. So we could have just said that this is negative three to the six. So here we actually can kind of on our own find a property here. If we look, if we take a power to a power, all we need to do to figure out what the exponent is to simplify it is to just multiply those exponents together. So here's the rule, the power of a power. Okay, if we have just real numbers, A and B, and we're taking them to some positive integers, M and N, all we need to do is to multiply the exponents. All right, so instead of trying to go through and put this in the calculator, we can rewrite this expression here. We'll leave the base alone. Eight to the third to the second power would just be eight to the three times two, six power. All we're going to do, we're going to simplify it like that. All right, we are not going to expand it or do anything else. Okay, negative 5 to the 4 power to the squared. All right, we're going to leave the base negative 5. You know, we can put it in parentheses. It's probably a good habit to do. All right, we'll just multiply the 4 times 2. We'll say this to the 8. And even if we have an expression, okay, a plus 2 to the 7 power, and then we're going to square it. We're going to leave the base alone, so we don't change the base at all. All we're going to do is multiply the exponents here, 7 times 2. That'd be to the 14th power. And trust me, you do not want to write that out because that's going to be super, super long. It's not a to the 4th, 2 to the 14th. All right. Okay, so here we go. Let's kind of talk about this. If you simplify this expression, would the answer be x to the 5th plus 3? Okay. No, it wouldn't be. All right, because if we think about it here, trying to get, if we got, let me get a better color. We got 
x to the third to the fifth, what that would mean is we're going to do x to the third times 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 x, or not x to the third, but x plus three. And we would have to like distribute there, distribute those, distribute this one, distribute those, get our answers, distribute all that here we would end up having a lot of like x squares or x cubes or x to the fifth. We're going to have a lot of things in between. So, okay, it's not going to be the same thing because we have all that distribution going on between each part. We're not just distributing the exponent. We're distributing all the parts inside. That's a whole nother chapter trying to figure this one out. Okay, the other thing we're going to look in this first part today is, okay, what if we take the product of powers. Okay, so if we take the product of powers, okay, what's three squared times three to the third? Okay, so we know three squared is nine, three to the third is 27. And if we think about this here, okay, all right, three, nine times 27, we'll plug it in the calculator. Okay, that's 243. Okay, so what we're going to do here on our calculator, we're just going to kind of click, okay, to see, all right, three to what power is 243? So we can try it on the calculator. We can try three to the, I don't know, let's multiply them. Three to the six, all right, that's 729. Okay, that's too much. All right, try a little less. Three to the fourth, all right, no, that's 81. Okay, what about three to the fifth? You know, I'm just randomly picking some numbers here, plugging them in, all right. 243, that's the right number. So this would be three to the fifth. All right, let's see, what about this one? What's five squared times five to the first? Well, five squared is 25. Five to the first is five. If we multiply those together, that's 125. And the same thing, okay, five to what power is that? Take a second, plug it in your calculator, try to figure it out. All right, that'd be five to the third. All right, and next one here, okay, two to the second, okay, that's four, two to the fifth, okay, I'm going to use a calculator here, it's 32. All right, we're going to multiply them together, that's 128, so we're going to just use a calculator, two to what power? So just try two to the tenth, two to the ninth, test it out. All right, that would actually be two to the seventh, if you got it right. So if we look here, if we multiply this, the middle number kind of shows us, okay, everything out. And what we could have done too is just said, okay, three squared is three times three, and then three cubed is three times three times three. And if we multiply those all out, we would have five threes. Same thing over here. Five squared is five times five. And if we times it by five to the first of five, we would have five or two squared, okay, two times two, two to the fifth is two times two times two times two times two, all right, that's to the seventh. So if we think about it, if we're taking the product of powers or if we're multiplying, all right, we can use basically the property of expansion, and we can rewrite it, okay? We can rewrite it. So another way to think about this here is what we're going to do to the powers to basically multiply powers with the same base. We add the exponents, okay? So as long as the bases are the same, didn't mean to clear that out. We're going to keep the bases the same. So, okay, 15, we just add the exponents together when we multiply. All right. So we got two times three or two plus three, that'd be five. Same thing over here. Okay, negative four is the base. We're going to add, even if they're negative, we just add them together. Negative seven and two, that'd be negative five. We'll talk about later. Okay, what does that mean exactly? But here we go. We're just making sure. All right, we got 0.3 and we're going to multiply it by another 0.3, okay, 0.3 to the negative third times 0.3 to the negative six. We just add those two exponents together, negative three and negative six, negative nine. 
All right, last one here, we got a base of negative seven. Technically, this first one here is negative seven to the first. We're gonna add those together, that'd be six. Okay, we're gonna keep it simple here at the first part. All right, and we'll do some more. Now, one phrase that you guys might be hearing about is PP man, and I know it's kind of silly, kind of giggly. Oh, didn't mean to click on that. There we go. All right, so PP man, PP man. PP man is how we're going to remember the rules here. So when we're taking a power to a power, PPM, a power to a power, so like three squared, and we're going to take it to the fifth power, we multiply. Power to a power, you multiply. So we say that's three to the tenth. All right. Now, another part of PP man is the middle here. When powers are multiplied together, we add. So when we take three squared and we times it by three to the fifth, we add those exponents, two and five. That makes seven. Okay. And then what we'll learn about eventually is, okay, what's this last part of PP man? Okay. Uh, but here we go. We're going to start there. You guys have an edge elastic to do. If you guys have any questions, make sure you ask. If not, thanks for watching and have a good one.